I'm Jacob. I'm Benny. And welcome to Airbag Man. We're just giving Steph and Lee an awesome tour of our brand spanking new facility. Now this is the original Airbag Man Defender. This has got full air suspension. Can't believe we're in this car. It's so With cool. you. With <laughs> you guys. We had an amazing day yesterday at Blender Beats with Oxford. It's very, very, very special. We camped on a free campsite on the side of the freeway in Bin Lee, spelled lightly, L-E-I-G-H. Today is another big day. We're gonna finally meet the guys, Benny and Jacob, at Airbag Men. Oh, look at this. Wow. There's an express parking and you can park straight in there. It's got a heap of yellow lawns on it. See you soon. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually here. We're here at the Airbag Man headquarters in Brendale, Queensland. Now, this is their brand new headquarters. I'm super excited to be here because... I sort of feel like we've been, well, we have been sort of part of this Airbag Man team. We've been running Airbag Man kit for almost five years now, since the beginning of this journey. These guys have supported us since the beginning. We've chatted to them many times on social media. We did a video chat with them at one stage. Now we're finally going to meet the crew in person. Super stoked and honored to be here. Let's back up a little bit. Five years ago, we bought our first Land Rover Defender 130, Bear and our four-wheel camper, Grizzly. The suspension was great when the camper was on, with heavy-duty cold springs and double shock absorbers. With the camper off, the rear was sitting a bit too high and the ride was pretty rough. Only a few weeks after the beginning of our trip in Portugal, we had a head-on collision with a speeding truck who lost control in a blind corner. The vehicle, our bear, was towed back to France. Our French insurance declared it a write-off. We rushed back to Germany to buy a new Land Rover Defender 130, Bear 2. We had to do a complete rebuild in our trusted garage, Newman 4x4 in Annonay, France. Alex advised us to install some Airbag Man helper bags. We were really happy with them as we could now easily adjust if we had the camper on or the camper off and also adjusting regarding to the road conditions. A while back, we were contacted by Airbag Man, offering us a full air suspension kit for our Defender. We were in Central Asia at the time, in some really remote places. We needed some time to think about that important upgrade. We were really happy with the helper bags, but we had a problem. Our rear coal spring kept on dislocating from its housing. Mid last year, we reached Australia and the coil kept on dislocating. We then made a big decision. And a few days later, we received a full air suspension kit from Airbag Man. I can't even express how excited I am right now. Oop, flies are out and about. We had it installed at Goldfields Off-Road in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia. It has been more than six months now since the install, and we are really happy with the decision we've made. We enjoy a nicer and smoother ride. There are far less impacts and vibration on the vehicle in general. Using the IntelliRide system at offered height has been great in few occasions, such as water crossing. The low access height is fantastic for the removal of our camper. We don't need to have our jacking legs extended to the max anymore. The low access mode will also be great when time comes to put Grizzly and Bear back in a sea container again. But overall, what we love the most about the full air suspension system is the leveling when we set up camp. We don't need blocks anymore. Back to the HQ. As we arrived at Airbag Mans, we were greeted with a little surprise. Danny from the power station, the mobile coffee shop. <laughs> Also on air, allowing him to be level every time for the use of his fancy coffee machine. Almond, soy, oat, zimmel, skinny or full? Oh, all the good stuff. <laughs> I'll just get a cappuccino with normal milk, okay. please. Cap with normal. Yeah, okay. that'd be awesome. Thank you very much. The van is equipped with a 6,000 watt inverter, 800 watts of solar 
and 800 amp hour lithium batteries. Oh, hang on, there's love in here. It's coming. Oh, I'm shaking. Look at that. Hang on. Oh, there you go. And you got to hold this right, and then I got to finish it off. Ready? All right. This is the finishing off. Oh God! There you look go. at there that. You go. Done. From time to time, the employees at Airbagman get to enjoy a coffee on the house. Another big surprise that day was to see Rod, the awesome man who prepared our Toyota and camping trailer 12 years ago and 4,000 kilometers away from here. Small world. Time for the visit of the new headquarters. Awesome glass frontage and it was just amazing. Jacob and Benny were really proud to show us their new workplace. Plenty of space and very modern. We felt like it was a very good working environment. The bad girls and bad boys. How cool. Cafe era. <laughs> Feeling a little bit deflated. Mid Feb. We're just looking to really grow this whole team around us and take it to the next level. We are predominantly a warehouse facility. We do a lot of research and development here. We don't do fitment, um, but we spend a lot of time um, designing and manufacturing the products here. This is it. This is the heart of where it happens here at Airbag Man. They got boxes going all over the world from right there. We've got a stack of product going all over the joint, as you mentioned there, into the Middle East, Europe, South America, America themselves. Yep. Where else? Asia. Asia. We've been running Airbag Man kits since the beginning for nearly yeah. five years now. And it was quite cool when we did the initial build in the south of France at the, our mate's Land Rover garage amazing, there. Yeah. Just And he says we were coming up with like a suspension design and throwing a few ideas around. And then this guy, Alex, is, uh, his name is, he's half British, half French, young guy, yeah, sweet. passionate landy man. And he said to me, oh, look, well, what about we do these airbags? And I said, oh, yeah. And it was sort of the first um, time I'd thought about airbags or using an airbag system in the... Uh, in the Defender. Oh, we've even got the logo on the desk. <laughs> Just behind Carl. Um... Carl? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing about 600 dispatches a week, um, and one order could pretty much be a whole pallet. Outer layer of rubber, yep. and you've got this mesh that literally just goes like that. Yeah, allows the rubber to fully stretch out and then come back to its back original to the, position. Yeah, it's always gonna so come back to that. You've got your outer layer of rubber, you've got your two fabric sort of mesh layers, and then you've got the inner protective layer. We've got Mal Leyland on the cartons as well. He's like the OG of um, like Australian travel um, from the Leyland Brothers. Um, we've got Penny Wells. Penny Wells has been all over the country. Yeah, she's settling down a little bit now, but yeah, she still travels like crazy. That's a BMW X5 cool help kit. Benny reckons he's a bit of a guru with the part numbers and knowing what the <laughs> what the vehicles are. So he's said the CR5079 is a BMW X5, was it? You said X5, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Okay, let's see what we got. Just jumping on the website here. What is it? It is a <laughs> Kia. Ah, oh, oh, oh. There's a pallet of um, 130 and 110 Defender kits. Ah, there we go, there's the business yeah. end. So these ones will be most likely <laughs> going to the States. Okay. Um, If we keep accumulating stuff like we do, we're probably going to have to upgrade. They feel like your Kenworth trucks and um, Mack trucks and all those humongous semi-trailers. Yes, I'm back, baby! Hey, I can see like some little straps over those Ugg boots there and you're bouncing down the... Uh... Yeah, we're going to do a squat. Yeah, Yeah! There you go, oh. <laughs> The guys here um, assemble all these panel so there's a fair bit of technical work involved to do this. Oh look at that. It's a full muscle top, I need to get some muscles. <laughs> Pump up those those guns a little bit. <laughs> it just opens up like that. And then I have the coffee machine in here. There you go. A little mini 
sick. We created these little off-road Suzuki Sierras to serve coffee anywhere in Australia. Beach, mountains, bush. Yeah, How long you had this one for? Uh, this one a couple of years, but I've had my main Suzuki for 25 years. You love it? <laughs> I love it. Yep, they go really well. So they're the original off-road vehicles and then the V-Dub is an addition to the fleet. So we'll have four vehicles. Um, suspension, we've got full air on the rear. This is a helper, but when we have more weight in the back, it really helps out with that. How heavy is a coffee machine? <sighs> About 100 kilos with the grinder. Wow. So yeah, 100 kilos in, plus that container, it's a couple hundred kilos on the back. Got Lee and Steffi's 130 Defender on the hoist. I reckon it's like the third time this hoist has been used. So it's a pretty good privilege and it's in the new HQ, you know. So what we're here to do is answer any questions they may have and give it a bit of a service because they have racked up the Ks on this bad boy and they're absolutely loving the air suspension, which is great to hear. I'm gonna make the um, turmeric latte. I drank out of these when I was 17. <laughs> I'm now 25 apparently. No. <laughs> 44 now. And um, yeah, mum kept them for me. So now we're going to have our turmeric latte out of them in a minute. Let's see if I can get a little something in here. No, there's a little, oh baby. Oh, maybe. You can kind of see it's a heart in there. On my little navy plate. Look at that. I've had these for 21 years, bro. Really? This is turmeric, honey, and a, and a bit of cinnamon. Yummy, thank you. That's it. It's so good, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's all I live for. Just. Danny's turmeric glasses. <laughs> yeah, you too, bro. You too. Thank, Thank you. you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. I'll see you again soon. I feel awkward with your hand on my shoulder like that. It's your brother, it's okay. <laughs>